first saying and I saw that person walking by and that was our first kill of the game right there but as you can see there was another team that was also going after me you guys can see right there I ended up getting both of them so that was good for that but then another team started going after me Alright, hello everybody and welcome back to another Fortnite video. You guys, it's been a while since we have done one and I know it's been like four or five days. And I know, that's kind of my bad a little bit there, but I have recently started school so that is one main reason. But so I'm still trying to figure out my schedule a little bit with all this stuff with like recording during it. Making sure I have time for every single thing, but yeah. But besides that, we actually have a few things that we have unlocked since we have last uh, made a video. I don't know if we were still level 54 or not, but some of the challenges have came out and I have did done like three of them I think so far. Yeah, we still have like four of them, chest and flux, flush factory, pistol elimination, sniper rifles, and flaming hoops to still complete. But we can't complete this one, jump through flaming hoops with a shopping cart or ATK yet because they have temporarily been disabled sadly. So I have no idea when that will come back on. But we are very, getting very close to the uh, rear guard, which can uh, go with our both of our Viking skins, which is pretty nice and everything. But we're going to be rocking out this person, the lifeguard here, because we did end up unlocking her. And she even has uh, her back bling right here. So let's go ahead and hop straight into it. All right. Hello, guys. Champ from the future here. Um, I actually forgot to mention that this uh, gameplay will actually be recorded in the uh, replay mode. And I'm actually also playing in a different resolution than I normally do so normally I play in 1920 by 1080 but I switched it to the same scaled resolution so it's still 16 by 9 but I'm playing on 1600 by 900 I believe is what it is so I don't know I feel like it does give me a lot of better FPS when I'm playing and stuff but it kind of does look a little bit blurry but you do have the positive ins and outs of whatever you change your resolution to but definitely let me know if you guys don't like it if you see the difference if you don't care just give me any feedback on it but without further ado and Enjoy the video. Okay, so for this video, I'm actually going to be explaining to you guys my thought process and everything that went out through this game because it definitely was a good one for sure and you guys actually have an advantage of uh, seeing me and this replay mode because you can see player name tags so I guess if you wanted to see people's names and also you can see player outlines so you'll be able to see like people through walls and stuff like that if you wanted to know where they were at or anything but so as you can see there was a ton of people around me but I just immediately went to a few chests and rocket launchers are critical to get for the very first set and I saw that person walking by and that was our first kill of the game right there Okay, so now I'm just kind of like grinding some mats and stuff and I do see that there's a team over here And they have a launch pad right there So I kind of want to take their launch pad But at the same time, I don't want to break it just in case if I was to use it But they were both standing right there and that was a perfect opportunity to possibly get uh, Both of them down as you can see that was a perfect opportunity right there and I did hit both of them So now they're both probably the same health and now I just got to knock one of them and then I should be good which I do do right around here, I think, soon. And I think I'm using double rocket launcher, maybe. Or maybe I just have one. That guy tried to impulse me, but I don't think that he realized I had my jetpack. And I think I saw this guy using a uh, RPG, so yeah, yeah. I think that's actually when I ended up getting the double jetpack thing. Okay, and then I ended up going against this guy. We were using double rockets here, which is a good strategy to do if you guys are wondering, like, what kind of... To do in the high explosives game mode you can just like use the double rocket and then you should be good now I was casually running away from this storm and then I heard some rockets and apparently there was a guy behind me that was just firing rockets trying to get me so I think I fired a few of them at him but in the end I, I don't think I ended up getting him I just kept on focusing oh wait I think I might have hit him I just heard that I think I might have hit him maybe exploded or something I have no I honestly have no idea but he probably ended up dying to the storm I think yeah because he only had a little bit HP and yeah there you can see all of his stuff going out but then we just kept on going inside of the border so it was like the journey but thankfully it wasn't too far so we were good enough and we actually made it so we were all good now this is kind of where the action kind of happens a little bit here you guys so we were going originally after this supply drop over here because I didn't see anyone around it. So I was like, hey, a supply drop. Why don't we go after this? 
and then I, I start noticing some few people which you can probably see by player outlines but I didn't know anyone at first so I just ended up going after this supply drop and proceeded to open it and then all of a sudden I see this guy Shino up here and I'm like okay dude I need to get this guy or otherwise he might end up getting me so I'm using that double rocket launcher strategy that I was telling you guys about but you got to be careful because as you can see right there my jetpack fuel was down so you don't want to just use it right away which a lot of people will do in this game mode because then you can just do exactly what that guy did which was take fall damage but as you can see there was another team that was also going after me and even one of them had the guided rocket missile thing whatever it's called but so the guided missile if you guys don't know actually does 75 damage so it's not nearly as much as the normal rockets but they did end up getting my shield down as you can see by that one guy so I definitely needed to get out of there I was running out of my uh, rocket launcher kind of fuel so I needed to use that a little bit wisely the building was a big aspect right there that I saw but my goal was to just go in one of these rifts because otherwise I was not in good manners at all thankfully there is season 5 rifts dude because I definitely would have probably died there if they weren't because even the storm was coming in they were both on me and I was just like oh my goodness dude I'm probably gonna die here but I managed to end up getting out of there so that was all good indeed but then there were a few teams around there as you could see I just literally <laughs> literally I just ended up going down right here placing the campfire and like healing up right in the middle of being because remember you don't have to be able afraid of like snipers or anything you can just heal up in the open so now is a whole bunch of team we're getting down to the final circle here and there's still a lot of people around here I'm wondering who to kind of go after there's a few teams over there that I heard about but the storms also coming in and then that's when I see this guy I use the double rocket strat and this guy over here he's just constantly using his jetpack in the air as you can see which is gonna make him fall so a lot of times if you know that they're gonna fall you can kind of predict where they're gonna land and then aim your rocket uh, right at them but I did use the grenade launcher and I ended up getting that kill but there was also that other team that was also aiming for getting that kill but I sneaked it snagged it before them uh, real quick and I think I ended up knocking that one guy out I'm not too sure if I did or didn't or maybe it was just that it was another team that knocked him out I honestly am not too sure about that, but we had to go after this guy right here and as you guys can see right there, I ended up getting both of them, so that was good for that. But then another team started going after me, and I don't know if there's like a glitch with like replay mode or something, because it seems like my jetpack's like constantly on or something, even when it's not, so sorry about that. But I end up launch padding out of here right away because I don't want to deal with them. And I only had like, I don't know, like 45 HP or something. And they were both at max. So that was crazy. So now it's a 2v1, final 2v1. And they're going for the clean on me a little bit here. That guy's got some building. And I'm just like, oh my goodness, dude. I gotta watch my jetpack levels. That's a big crucial thing right here, especially if they're both on me. My jetpack levels are gone. So I'm building really quickly. They get rid of my ramp as quick as I do. So I, I'm starting to use my bounce. I'm starting to use all my resources uh, fortunately actually as you can see in the bottom left hand corner of your guys screen uh, that one guy had used his uh, jetpack too much and wasn't paying attention to his fuel and he ended up taking fall damage from it so that actually helped us out a lot so a lot of people will you know kind of use their jetpack but I aim right down because he's right next to me and we end up securing that victory royale so that was good I kind of calculated where he was going to land a little bit and yes that was our victory royale to be honest I'm not gonna like brag or anything but I feel like high explosives is probably the limited time mode that I know what to do in a lot of situations like it's probably the game mode that I'm most experienced in even though I haven't probably played it more than normal battle royale I'd probably say like if you're ever wanting any tips for that game mode definitely ask me and I'll, I'll help you out because I wouldn't mind helping you guys out but yes that was a victory royale hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one